Hi everyone, Christina here. Today I'm going to be walking you through how I created a kind of a layered gold watercolor background. I started out with these two pieces of watercolor paper and I was going to take this in a completely different direction. But as I started painting, it went off in the way that it ended up and I just went with it and I'm so happy I did. So I'm going to have music playing in the background and I'll just interject with any information that you might need. Uh, at the beginning here, I put down a, a pretty generous layer of water. Let that soak in for a minute and then I started to drop in a color. I'm not mixing color on my palette. I'm bringing these straight from the wells in my palette. So this is pure color. And I put down like a really strong amount of paint and then get my paintbrush wet and kind of soften those edges and kind of spread things out from there. And I moved on to other colors. My color palette today are blues and greens, and then I'll eventually bring in a kind of a really dark blue. It's a paint gray blue. Um, it's, it's almost like a very just cool toned dark gray. So I'm gonna be dropping in color, trying to spread these around, and it's gonna look bad before it looks better. So I have sort of a dark mess over on the side here. I'm covering up my clean piece of watercolor paper and then I'm going to start uh, doing some paint splatters with this gold color from Yuli Watercolors. This is Christmas gold and you'll notice I did not dry this before I did my paint splatter and that's because I wanted this gold color to really soften as I splatter onto my project. So you'll notice they sort of bloom out and you get a very softened look. That's what I'm going for now. Eventually I will dry it completely and I'll start putting a layer of actual painted gold. tool to speed along the drying process and look at this dramatic difference everything just fades back and it looks to be almost like weird mold spots in a petri dish so in order to get a more ethereal uh, look from this I'm bringing in the paint on a paintbrush I'm bringing it at full strength and then I'll put water on my brush and spread it around because the paint underneath is not reactivated too much with additional moisture, adding this paint on top is actually going to just do a glaze right over the top. 
It's going to add that gold shimmer and all the different areas where I want it. going to add more water droplets or these droplets of paint and I haven't dried the gold so anytime that it drops onto the gold area it's going to do that kind of fade out blooming effect like it did on the layer underneath but eventually right here I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to do more paint splatters on top to get that really strong gold. And here we are. Here is that finished background. I really love how this turned out. I was skeptical there in the middle. It didn't look very pretty, but with that additional gold up against those darker areas, it just really sings. So I'm going to do a die cut, a big die cut greeting, and I wanted to use that same gold shade. So I started to paint it on that white piece of watercolor paper, but it just doesn't show the gold as well as it does on a dark surface. So I switched to some black watercolor paper. I painted a large swatch of that gold, and then I used the Paper Hugs die from Simus' stamp. I have plenty of room on my big swatch here to die cut that. And then I realized that I wanted it to stand up from the surface of my card more. So I die cut three additional pieces of that die from the Paper Hugs die. And I did three uh, die cuts in white. I adhered those together, stacked them. And then I put the gold piece on top. So altogether, there are four layers of this die, this die cut. And the top layer is that gold one. I trimmed down the watercolor background so that it is six and a half tall by four and a half wide. This is going to go on a five by seven card base. So that's going to give me a little bit of room on all sides so that I have a nice white frame around my design. After I put some foam tape behind my watercolor background and pressed it onto my card base, I then used some of that same glue. In this case, it's Honey Bee Precision Glue and I put it on the back of my die cut and then use some tweezers to put that die cut directly on the front of the card. And that finishes the card for today. I'm gonna to tip it up in the light so you can really see how well that shimmer is. It's so beautiful, I absolutely love it. This is actually very similar to some other cards I've done in the past, but I've never done this particular color combination with blues and greens and gold. And I really, really love how it turned out. Like I said, this card went in a direction I wasn't expecting, but I'm glad I kind of followed that and let it play out because it turned out absolutely beautiful. 
Thanks so much for watching today. I'll be back very soon with another card video. In the meantime, feel free to check out any of these videos here at the end here. Um, I'm gonna link to some more videos that use a shimmery gold paint on a background so you can try out a bunch of different things. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.